to watch a collaborative of faith communities and corporations and individuals and um, all sorts of folks come together to say that we want to do this, to say we believe in this. That is a miracle that people are willing to do that. I'm just so impressed with the tiny homes that are planned for the village and especially that it's designed for those especially who are medically vulnerable. Um, we know that this will save lives. The average lifespan in the United States is around 80 years old. The average lifespan of someone who is on the street or the average age of death for someone on the street is around 50 years old. So they lose 30 years of meaningful life because of homelessness. We have a housing crisis in Nashville. We have a housing crisis for low resource uh, populations, people who are not affluent um, that need homes. We do not have medical respite in town for our medically fragile um, Nashvillians who are experiencing homelessness. We know that housing is health care and having a safe place to lay your head is an important part of healing and that's why this is important to me. When we're in survival mode we know that we don't heal in those spaces. And so to be able to provide space very specifically for folks who are at a high risk um, of dying on the streets because of their medical vulnerabilities, this is the right thing to do. I see the future for the village being very bright. Um, Glencliff is a bright light in and of itself. Um, engaging this community, restoring dignity uh, to, at a minimum, 22 people will provide a light that will glow throughout the city. Um, it's pretty overwhelming when somebody will say yes to you in such a big way uh, that they don't even have to see it. And they trust in your vision <laughs> and they trust in the work um, that's happening in Open Table Nashville to know that finally it's happening and that people that we love um, will be able to um, thrive and not just survive. That people will know that they are loved. They are loved.